hey guys welcome back to my channel so you already know it's your girl in i'm bringing it back with another banging video i'm so excited about this particular video and i'm so sorry that i haven't filmed in a long time i've been so busy and overwhelmed but what you guys need to know is that i would never forget you like i know that i've been gone i know that i've promised i'll be consistent and then i decided not to be consistent anymore but that is not the case anymore like i'm sure that i'm not going to make like a whole month pass without posting a video for you guys at least i'm trying to post every week but it's not easy guys but anyways let's just get into it this is like a story time slash vlog because the vlog was just all over the place so editing was kind of difficult but i just had to put everything together and put timestamps and everything for you guys to see i did my birthday since 2002 <laughs> the 11th of august 2022 when am i posting march 2023 like I, I don't even understand how that happened but honestly honestly let me just explain this i actually filmed and planned to post like after my birthday but then like events like surrounding that whole period just puts me off i wasn't even interested i'm like i don't even care i don't have posts blah 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 but then i'm like i love this vlog i made this vlog i had so much fun and i wanted to carry you guys along and show you guys everything that is happening and editing was so fun because it brought back a lot of amazing moments and things that i miss and watching my birthday all over again made me so happy because as i said this was like the best birthday i've ever had i had so much fun it was my birthday slash celebrating inn beauty's first year anniversary and also launching a product for inn beauty so i'm just going to like put you guys through everything this video is very detailed so you guys actually are carried along and know exactly what is happening so first of all inn beauty turned one thing that actually makes me happy on the 31st of may 2022 but we just launched a product at the time but we actually did not do an event and it has been my dream to do something for inn beauty when in beauty turns one so i decided that i'm going to do in conjunction with my birthday two months later august i'll be three months later on the 11th of august actually my birthday was on the 11th of august but i celebrated it on the 12th of august which is like the next day friday because i just felt like everybody would be able to attend and since it's like the last day of the week and since it's like leading into the weekend guys it was so fun and i planned everything by myself this is not like a planning video like how did i plan my birthday if you guys want me to do a separate video on that i would but then i'm just like talking about the events that led to it and when i was editing there were some things i'm like okay you guys need to have context to it that's why i'm doing this introductory video basically so before we get into this video make sure you guys like let me show you guys subscribe and make sure you guys turn post notifications drop a comment down below if you love this video and let's get into this video as i said i planned this event to the t like every single thing i am such a perfectionist that i want every single thing to be organized and perfect to my own likeness so i made sure i planned every single thing by myself and i did not miss out anything literally i started planning this birthday since like may because we celebrated my friend's birthday in may so i started getting ideas from there so i started writing things down i draw out the borders and guys um, iphone notes is your friend really like i was doing everything on my iphone notes so if something comes to my mind i'm like okay if i want to have pink tables i'm writing it down if i want to have baby pink and dark pink um, balloons i'm writing it down because also i forget a lot so i literally wrote down everything and everything i wrote down literally came to pass and i was so happy okay the only thing that i actually wanted well, I wasn't too keen on that like it's not like i said it was a loss i wanted to have that 360 camera thing but even considering the location i don't think it's like me i do but anyways every single thing i wrote down in my plan came to pass and i'm so happy that i could achieve my birthday of my dreams and honestly it wasn't just my birthday i felt so special that day because it was not just for me it was also for in and beauty so it made me so happy i was so happy that a lot of people came out and a lot of people had fun it was like literally an amazing day and all my guests are so amazing because i said i said planning this birthday from july so i started like putting things together making plans i already drew out a budget as of july and already had like a cost like everything was down to dj food down to every single thing i wrote every single thing down because i don't like to work under stress and pressure do you understand like i literally was so relaxed i knew everything that was going to happen also some of my friends were like in you're not giving us details of everything you're carrying them along and it's because i'm such a perfectionist and i forget that i need to carry people along so i feel like okay today i'm going to do this i'm going to do that so i just do it by myself and you remind me like in you need to tell someone to do you need to assign things to people before i would actually assign people i don't know if i'm the only one that this happens to actually my friends help one way or the other but in terms of planning in terms of how everything turned out everything was my own initiative and then i told my friends some of them just give suggestions of course some of them told me okay this is how it should be maybe we should do this one this do that one but as i said i'm just laying emphasis on this because literally i have dreamt of having a pink because everybody knows i'm obsessed with pink i don't know if you guys know i am so obsessed with pink i feel like why am i celebrating a huge birthday and i'm not making money out of it so i put in nbt inside by first by fire 
the first clip of this vlog is me going to have a meeting with the restaurant manager so guys the restaurant i chose was the pier restaurant i went to meet up with this man and then we had a whole meeting it was really nice but then i kind of liked the space i've been seeing it honestly i wouldn't lie it wasn't bad but it wasn't how i see it on instagram or maybe the place is just you know places that are aesthetic when it just comes and everybody's like oh my god this place is aesthetic and after a while it just loses its aesthetics i don't know if that i don't know if that's a thing but literally i felt like that was it because i've always seen this place and i was like this place is so pretty but it wasn't bad because if it was that bad i wouldn't have done my bedding there like no there was no way because i was literally planning and making plans and making plans and making plans i was trying to look for locations in different a few moments later as you can see i'm smiling because i just finished the meeting after waiting for this month but the meeting was amazing i even got a discount i am so happy you guys can see the place is so pretty i can't wait for the decorator to do all her designs and everything but i'm so excited and i'm ready to go to my next item of the day notes app is your friend so i was literally writing down every single thing on the notes app or put the date okay today i'm going to make my hair from here i'm going to do my nails from here i'm going to attend this meeting after this meeting i'm going to do this after this i'm going to go home after this i'm going to have classes so that was how i was planning my entire birthday so i already knew what i was going to do every single day and because i was working with a driver i also had to be organized so that he knows and plans himself as well so i'll be like okay today we're going to work tomorrow you're going to come next tomorrow is a break and stuff like that so everything was organized and there was no hiccup in terms of that like i knew every single thing i was going to do and i achieved every single thing i planned to do every single day unless the problem was not from my own side but that was that literally never really happened maybe there was like an hour delay or two hours delay but literally everything was organized and perfect obviously i don't know if you guys knew i was on low cut before and my hair was fully dyed like i dyed it ginger so i decided that because the hair i'm going to be doing for my birthday so now we're making plans towards my birthday and also my birthday photo shoot so the hair i plan to do for my birthday photo shoot was like this high up flip pony because i didn't want to look tacky with like ginger hair showing here three hours later hey guys so i'm done with my hair and i have them to dry my wig and it looks so cute and lush i'm leaving and i have a meeting for an event that i am influencing for and promoting i'm on heels but obviously that event doesn't have anything to do with my birthday so i'm just going to see you guys when i'm doing the next birthday activity the next day my friend's sister actually decided to help me make my hair she she's a hairstylist so she was like she's going to help me make my packing gel. i decided to go to her place for her to make my hair honestly i was happy because a lot of people were actually offering to do things for me like my photo shoot was not a page it was a collaboration with another photographer but i'm going to get to that i decided to buy every single thing possible because my hair was short at the time like it wasn't so long but then she said it's achievable so i braided my hair immediately after dyeing my hair i told them to braid it because it kind of stretches out my hair i bought like got to be gel gorilla snot i got a lot of hedge i even bought that black gel because it said that it helps so i've just bought everything i made sure that i could ask her do you have all the head tools because i wanted to make sure that my hair does not disappoint to this ponytail one eternity later we're about to start the glam process yay okay so my scalp already hurts a little so we're about to start proper proper today <laughs> today how how Oh my god guys we're getting it oh my god i'm so excited to all the people that said in your hair will never pack what do you guys think about this all you naysayers but my edges do Jesus. so honestly i kind of felt sad because as we're making the hair along the line the hair was not acting like it wanted to be made like the hair was misbehaving i don't know what the problem was i don't know if it's a procedure i really don't know what it was but then it, i was just getting disappointed and i actually almost cried because i had high expectations first of all we started making the hair very late and then it was already getting to even on this hair for hours i kept packing it packing it to always fall back to fall back i didn't make a video because i was already having panic attacks like the entire bathroom because i was looking at the mirror the entire bathroom was filled up with black gel everywhere my hand was sticky comb was sticky everything was sticky my hair was everywhere i was just so upset because the hair was not acting like it's supposed to act and i was just so angry i literally almost cried and i needed to attend an event that evening so there was no way i could have done anything i just had to just take a shower and wash out my hair the gel in my hair was so much i braided it back went for my event i was just so confused because literally the next day was supposed to be the day of my shoot and it wasn't like next day in the afternoon it was supposed to be early in the morning because we already made plans with makeup parties and everything Thing. so it was supposed to be in the morning so how am i going to make my hair so i called my friends and i was like i'm so upset i was literally crying i think i cried so i was like i'm so upset i don't know what i'm going to do like the hair is not coming up nobody's bringing up any solution i don't know what to do me i don't even know what i want to do and i had my straight wig and i did not actually plan to use a straight wig because i just felt like i wanted to look different i didn't want to just be a normal 
wig look but then i just said god whatever it is like let like let your will just be done and i felt sad because i already had like in my mind what i wanted it to look like i already like thought that okay this is how i want this hair to look like so when we're not achieving the style we wanted i actually started feeling really really sad the makeup artist started with my makeup <laughs> Eventually. So guys, you know that God actually works in mysterious ways. When I went to the studio to start my makeup, the photographer came. I just kept having this nudge. Like I couldn't convince myself that my straight wig would have been the option because it's not even like a straight long wig. It's like a layered wig, and it wasn't giving. Like it wasn't giving what I wanted it to look like. So I was just so upset. When I finished making my hair and everything, I said, okay, let me iron my dress because the dress which I wanted to use for the shoot was not so ironed. Then I took it and, and lo and behold, I saw. And also, also, let me tell you guys something in me told me that i should carry the ponytail it's actually the same ponytail but this is a different one but this exact same brand something in me told me that i should carry the ponytail to the shoot and how would i, I already started makeup so my plan was that you saw my hair was flat already like it was on local so something just told me that i should just carry the weave to the shoot and then i saw a silent and i'm like okay let me just ask like, i just went in casual i was like look at you guys see my hair oh, i want to do packing journey we're like how are you going to do packing you're like ah, this your hair is short too is this that i'm like okay we are going to be able to do then one girl i don't know if i should call her angel she just came and she was like yes i can help you do the hair and then that's how we started the process first i was like ha, let me not have too much expectations but guys that was literally the best packing gel i've ever done whether my hair when my hair was long whether, when it was short whatever the hair was just so nice and sleek and she was just so encouraging like she encouraged me so much but guys my scalp was hurting so bad from trying to manipulate my hair from last night and also so guys something really scary happened this morning while i was at the salon so first of all i was supposed to do my shoot at a particular place like i didn't want to do it in a studio i wanted it to be like in like a room type of vibe so i'm supposed to do it in a particular um hotel so i spoke with my friend and he told me that it's fine that everything's going to be sorted that when i get there i should call him that morning i just wanted to call him and say oh sorry for the delay i'm doing my hair i was trying his number it was not going but i found out that he had like a medical emergency so i called my friend and i was like i'm panicking literally first the hair was the issue now i've resolved the hair where am i going to shoot i did not plan to pay in any hotel because as i said everything was on a budget so i already pictured it being in that particular hotel room so i was calling and calling his number and i was shaking and i said okay let me call so my friend now told me that i should call this person someone else and then i called this person and then they gave me entrance into a room in transcorp i was so happy they already had a room at the time so then i now went to do the shoot there like everything that whole period was a miracle i was just fantasizing about the whole thing i was like wow like me i'm the kind of person that i plan right from time so i'd never like given the opportunity for something this spontaneous to happen so when it actually happened to me i was like wow eventually my goodness oh my goodness i feel pretty oh so pretty i think we should cut some of the teeth no are you sure we should not cut all this the family part? No, leave it like that. It's step by step. If you are no, not. like this small, small, tiny hair that coming. It will make the yeah, mother yeah, in the like summer. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Don't cut it. Like this yeah. is fine, right? It's very permanent. See me. It was my deal. Two hours later. Guys, I am so happy I finally done my hair. I feel super pretty. My super pretty hair. And my super pretty face. And my super pretty makeup. That's why my skin is super I'm super light. Like my But then what is this? This thing was not here earlier today. my hair will not 50, pack 50. and everything and i was not like okay Shad said if i have this um, hairstyle fixated in my mind there's no way god will not make it possible i should be trusting my the holy spirit um so are you a christian okay. me this is how i talk for any small thing i always involve god I mean, why would you not involve him? honestly because i'm always i always know if it's god's plan a few moments later So I am just about to change because it feels so cute and pretty. 
Unfortunately, I don't have any pictures. I want to take some deep pictures, some nice pictures in the lift. Just patiently waiting for the photographer and then we go to the lift to take the pictures. 20 minutes later. And it's a wrap. Guys, we're done completely. Like, we're completely done with everything. No, no, we're not done. Sorry. We're done, no. I'm to do reels. Oh. Let my friend come first. <laughs> about to do reels. One hour later. Hello, mommy. Hello? Mommy, can you imagine? Doku forgot me. He did not even. Can you hear me? <laughs> mommy, Doku did not even pick me, and I didn't even know that he drove. Hello, in the MDC stick as Necrotus, I am wishing you a happy birthday, long life, prosperity, more blessings, and so on and so forth. So, fast forward to the day of my birthday, I was feeling myself, you know, your girl just turned 22. I was so happy, I was so excited. I was going to stay in Transcorp for two nights, which is the night of my birthday, into a birthday celebration night, and then I'm checking out the next day. So, basically, two nights and three days. I decided that I'm just going to rest on the day of my actual birthday because the next day was going to be crazy. So Eventually, so I just went to my room. My friends are coming in, they brought gifts, food. I was so excited, I was using my day to unbox gifts. I was in my day to make videos with my friends. We had so much fun. Honestly, I didn't even film so much because I was just dancing, chilling, enjoying myself with my friends. Like, it was just a really nice vibe because everybody was just doing their own thing. Later. Hi, guys. So, I know you guys are like, you know, is that all the content you have to give for us? Like, I'm just resting today because the main party is tomorrow. And that is where I'm going to be doing all my serenade. So, I just finished speaking with the host and everything. I just wanted to show you guys my hotel room. My hotel room is so beautiful. I just had my bath. I'm about to sleep. This, I am so tired. I just finished planning everything, messaging all the vendors for tomorrow, the DJ, the photographers, the videographers, everything. And by God's grace, everything is in place. I am super excited. So I just wanted to talk to you guys before the next day. See you guys tomorrow. Bye. The next day. So it comes the day of my birthday. I was feeling myself. I was so happy, like a hey, birthday girl. Period. I was telling everybody I had two birthdays because people were wishing me happy birthday on both days, Thursday and Friday. The day I was celebrating on my actual birthday i was so excited like guys i was just too ginger hi guys good morning i'm just waking up i've had such a crazy day yesterday oh i had a very bad cold but i'm getting ready for my day i'm super excited i want to follow you guys up on how my day is going Honestly, I'm really excited and today I'm celebrating my birthdays. My birthday. I've been telling everybody I have two birthdays. Anyways, I want to go brush my tea, go down to have my breakfast, and I'll catch up with you guys. Bye.
I think it needs some ironing. I actually plan to wash it, but I don't think I should. I'll just iron it. I think we're good to go. One hour later. My nail broke. I don't know how, but then my nail, my toenails fell off, and I was like, "Devil, don't even try me today." Echo, how are you? Twenty minutes later. <laughs> One hour later, so guys. As I said when I started this vlog, I said I am such a perfectionist. So I decided that I was going to go to the venue first. Like after this, my friends were like, "Oh, I wasn't even supposed to go. Maybe it was my friends I was supposed to go." For me, I'm not going to wait and say, "Oh, okay." But like, I don't know how to like appoint people to do this, do this, do this. Because what was needed was I needed to know and see for myself. Do you understand? Because I didn't actually really plan. But then when I was there and I was relaxing and resting and I was waiting for the makeup artist to come, the decorator told, called me and told me that, oh, some chairs are broken, some chairs are not. I was not happy to hear that news because I paid reservation fee for that space and also paid for every single person's food. So hearing that chairs have broken, I feel like, so what was the point of reservation fee? Literally, like, was it not to make sure that everything was in check? Like, there's power everything is clean and everything just for them that some chairs are broken and i was supposed to have 40 guests on my birthday and then some chairs are not complete so it was like 38 chairs and i was like what the hell literally had to just start going there and i carried my birthday cake and everything there so we're going to the venue and we're going to set up and everything and this is basically my feet this is what i look like mm. <laughs> you're too far One hour later. Mm. 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 I was still happy like guys being makes me so happy you don't even understand but anyways everything was looking good and everything all I can hear is silence turn it back from all the pain and violence big toes now it's big toes I'm really right now from the side now also i was feeling very very sad because the makeup artist was not picking my calls and it was not my makeup artist it was someone else's makeup artist so i was trying to call and call and call and like your makeup artist is not picking and first of all i didn't want to do makeup with any makeup artist i brought my own makeup i can do my makeup i feel like i wanted my makeup to be soft and cute but because i spent my time waiting for her instead of me to even start my makeup but then the plan was okay let me wait for her to come and as i said i didn't plan to use a makeup artist but then this person was like you need to use a makeup artist your day you need to feel like a princess i'm like okay and then they were offering to pay so i was like okay fine and good let me use the makeup artist and then the makeup artist was not coming i was so upset i wanted to cry my eyes out like literally i started having serious anxiety guys my birthday was supposed to start by 6 p.m i put 6 p.m on the thing so that people can go and do everything they want to do i got my birthday by eight o'clock like i was so angry and appreciated the fact that they all came very early and on time i literally started my makeup by like 6 30 i was so upset <sighs> long story short two hours late i even heard that two people left i almost heard crying i'm like inem you can't cry it's your birthday you have to be excited a lot of things didn't go exactly as planned for that exact day but i don't know the day i'm sure grateful to god that everything went really well i had so much fun my friends had so much fun everybody was happy people came through for me people celebrated me people cheered me on and i was literally so happy everything went perfectly well i give god all the glory and guys also i want to give a shout out to zinga for coming through on my birthday payments were made 
through Zynga for my birthday. So I'm so excited. I'm so happy that, you know, they came through. I made a good gain on my birthday. I want to thank everybody that came. I had so much fun. So just enjoy this POVs. Guys, don't skip. Enjoy because this is literally like making you part of the entire birthday because these are my friend's POV. So just enjoy this and thank you so much for watching this video this moment. So guys, make sure you like this video. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you turn on post notifications and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!
guys this is the best assistant in the whole wide world yes, in case you just need anyone for your occasion she's here for you mm. don't mind our accent yes. <laughs> but she's the best please ignore the dirty bathroom and just focus on us <laughs> guys i have the best friends in the whole world did you hear what i said i have the best friend in the whole wide world <laughs> Thank you. I wish you all the best in life. Thank you, amen. I wish you 150 more years. <laughs> amen. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's a pleasure. I know my friend gets me. No. <laughs> Thank you. I didn't know I was coming yesterday. You were on duty. Yeah, come on, the celebration is celebration. Why are you celebrating here, dude? Okay. Later. Hi. Right. Come on. Come on.